About this time every year, GameSpot editors like to list our most anticipated games for the coming year. 2015's got a lot to look forward to, but we've got games to play, gifts to wrap, weather to flee from, so who even has time for this anyways? I do, because I'm paid to, but your time is precious, so let's make this quick. 15 games in 4 minutes is about 16 seconds per game, but I've been talking for a while, so it's actually less. Sorry, Uncharted 4, you look dope, but I've already used up all your time and I didn't even say your full title. Next game. No Man's Sky stole the show at the VGX Awards last year by showing off a procedurally generated galaxy full of worlds upon worlds upon worlds that you can land on and explore and then take off again to find more new worlds. You freaked everyone right out, and if you're not freaked out about it, you probably should be because you can have your own world and who doesn't want that? Yes, please. Not many other new IPs on this list, but Evolve is one of them, and hot dang if we haven't done a lot of coverage on Evolve. We like Evolve. It's from the folks who made Left 4 Dead. We like Left 4 Dead. In Evolve, you can play as a monster and terrorize your friends. We like terrorizing our friends. But in a video game way, not like... <laughs> Speaking of monsters, how about that Bloodborne? Chock full of nasty monsters and nasty weapons to kill them with. Call it Dark Souls with shotguns. Call it the third coming of the greatest action RPG of our generation. Just don't call it delayed past its March 24th release date. Speaking of delays, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is on this list, but not until later. Speaking of overused transitions, did you hear the one about the old one-eyed guy who hangs out in boxes with women painted on the side? Kojima's an odd duck, but the man knows a little something about stealth action games. The vaunted franchise heads into a big open world in Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain, and the hype is real. Speaking of fives, Persona 5 is coming out. It's a Persona game and not like the fighting kind or the dancing kind, like the real super duper great sink hours into it and make it your new life you live here now kind. The kind that even though we know basically nothing about it, we still add it to lists. We do know a lot about Batman Arkham Knight, and what we know is that Batman was basically made to be a video game hero, and the previous Rocksteady Arkham games have been rad. Look at this rad dude. Look at this rad car. Don't ask why the car shoots bullets, just ask when you can shoot the car bullets. June 2nd is the answer. Here's a question. Does Ubisoft make games that don't require you to climb towers and scout the area? I imagine you won't have to do that in the division because UAVs, but who knows? Squad-based scavenging and shooting set in the shabby shell of a sickly society sounds super sweet, and while I'm on an S street, how about a short shout for Rainbow Six Siege? It's not on the official list, but if Ding Chav has taught me anything, it's that you sometimes have to improvise. Should probably talk about The Witcher 3 now, or maybe not just yet. You don't mind waiting, do you? If you're a Star Wars fan, you know a thing or two about waiting, but hey, Battlefront. Battlefront by way of Battlefield, no less. DICE does combat in big open spaces with lots of vehicles real well, and that's pretty much what we all want from Battlefront. Let's just hope they get their servers up to snuff, because it'll be a hot day on Hoth before that game gets delayed to miss the launch of the movie. Did you ever see the Tomb Raider movies? Pretty crap, but that new Tomb Raider game was excellent. Rise of the Tomb Raider is set to carry the torch forward through the dank dark caves of Time's platform exclusivity, so if your console doesn't start with an X, you're gonna have to wait a little longer to watch yourself die horribly. The Witcher 3 looks like it has some pretty gross monsters. Hey, did you know it's cool to own a Wii U now? It's got Mario and Cart and Smash, and next year it's gonna have Fox and Link, we hope. New Star Fox does first-person cockpit view through the gamepad and third-person view on the TV. Too many views? No such thing. New Legend of Zelda is the first ground-up HD game in the series and has a big open world with grass and trees and opponent and octorocks and sword arrows. Too many Zelda tropes? No such thing. All these Nintendo classics come round to roost again, but still no new Mega Man game on the horizon. Or is there? Mighty No. 9 is a new Mega Man alike by the original designer of the Blue Bomber, Keiji Inafune. Made a mint on Kickstarter and shaping up to be pretty rockin', man. Almost done with this list and almost done with this year, but before the clock strikes midnight on 2014, one of these games will be in beta. Tale of Five Guardians. New moving abilities moving at 60 FPS might move you to move on that Xbox One you were gonna buy. Or so they hope. And hope is all we have that The Witcher 3 won't get delayed again, because man, if there's a most of the most anticipated, I think this is it. That gorgeous open world, those gorgeous creatures, that gorgeous new protagonist, and the gorgeous Witcher himself. That we live in a time with such marvelous anticipatables is truly, truly grand. And look at that, we've got a few seconds to spare. Any other games you guys want to mention? Overwatch. Objective captured. Cool. It's over. Thanks for watching.